Welcome back to Module 9 of Setting Up Your Journal with OJS 3.0, Workflow Settings. This is Unit 5 of this module, Emails. OJS sends a number of emails during various stages of the editorial workflow, as well as other actions such as registration and submission acknowledgement. The settings of this section allow you to edit the signature attached to the email, as well as change the default messages sent in each type of email. To access emails, log into your dashboard using the login link in the top right corner of your journal homepage. Hover over Settings in the left navigation and select Workflow. Emails is the fifth tab at the top of the page. The first item on the page is the signature attached to automated emails. It has a default signature, but it is a rich text editing box that can be customized to whatever you prefer. Following, you have the option to set a bounce address. Any undelivered emails will send an error message to this address. Activating this feature will require some assistance from your site administrator. Finally, we come to the email templates. OJS 3.0 is preloaded with 62 templates, all arranged in the following table. Some templates are essential and have their enabled tick boxes grayed out. Others are optional and can be disabled as that serves you. Clicking on the expansion arrow beside the template name allows you to edit the email or reset it to its default settings. When editing emails, it's important to note that the text in scroll brackets are system commands that auto-generate content. When you've completed your edits, click Save. To add a new template, click on the Add Email Template link at the top of the box. The form requires a name, subject, and body content. When you've completed the form, click Save. When you're satisfied with all of the changes that you've made to your templates, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Save. Email templates can be edited at any time, and the defaults can all be restored at once using the Reset All Templates button. And that concludes our overview of the email workflow settings. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again in the next module.